Well, I, I, I can remember something, I don't even know if I've ever told the guys, but when I was uh, nearing the age of 30, which was just uh, yesterday, just a few yeah. days ago. Yesterday. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I was wrestling with depression, actually, and uh, had even contemplated suicide. And one of the keys of my life really turning around was God's Word. I had someone who gave me a, a, a list of scriptures. I began to meditate and memorize and say over and over. And one of the key verses was Deuteronomy 31 and 8 from the Amplified Version, which is harder to memorize because it has so many words, but it says, do not fear, don't be, don't be discouraged, don't be afraid. It's the Lord who goes before you. He won't fail you. He won't forsake you. He'll never let you go. And something about that actual phrase, he'll never let you go, became a key in my life to, to remember that even when you feel like you're alone, you're forsaken, uh, that God has left you, he doesn't know where you are, that, that reality that uh, God was speaking to Joshua actually at that point, but that in every situation, God will not let you go. And that was powerful for me and actually wrote a song on our first album called He'll Never Let You Go. So uh, that's, that's been really a key verse for my life, a key, key point in my life. Uh, I like, there's a number of scriptures I've loved through the years. One is uh, Psalms 139, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend in the heavens, you're there. If I make my bed in hell, you're there. If I take the wings of the morning to fly away or dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand will hold me, your right hand will sustain me. I think we've all, if you live long enough, you know what it's like to make your bed in hell. And you know what it's like to feel isolated. And uh, yet, the truth of the scripture is, is his, uh, his hand will hold you, his spirit's there. And it, uh, if you base it on emotion, you may not always feel like he's there, but his word says he's there. And if his word says he's there, then you can believe it because he never lies. He's there. He's right there with you wherever you are, no matter if you've taken the wings to fly away or if you've if you're made your bed in hell. He's there. David said that, and that's a word I've stood on for many years. We're saved by faith, by grace through faith, and that not of ourselves. It is a gift of God. And when I, the day that I realized that I did not have to work yeah. to get God's grace in my life and, and to be saved, it was probably one of the greatest awakenings in my life personally.